<clears throat> okay, I want to find a, a place where the particles do interact with the plane to make sure that it's doing it properly. Yeah, see, they're hitting it there and kind of acting funny. That's going to be fine because we're just going to map the particles anyway. But at the same time, what did I grab here? Wind 2, I wanted wind 1. Oh, wind 1, you bastard. Point 0.5. fast now. Point two five point three three Let's grab our other wind, because I'm not really liking what this looks like, this this particle part yet. Uh, maybe if we push this to 0.15, and we'll run it, or play it again. And technically, you would be adding this smoke to all of the shells. Mm. Though, again, that's just something you can experiment with later on. It would be weird if only one had some smoke, though. Uh, what do I have? Wind 2. What if I... Add point 2. Point zero 0.08. See what that looks like. <coughs> uh, we'll, we'll keep it at that. I just want to run it at real time, real quick, before I think of it. Like as you know, that's gonna be it. So three hundred frames, you have that like that. <coughs> so let's go ahead with the. Um, we'll quickly do a mental ray thing on this uh, perspective view. And we will map these bastards. Um, an important thing to keep in mind now, um, Afterburn and Fume will not um, render with Mental Ray. You would need like V-Ray or something like that, but we can do it in passes so it still works. So I'm going to bring up my, um, my render setup. Of course, it's never on the proper screen when I'm doing a tutorial. <coughs> and I want to assign renderer being the... Oh, it's already sentimental, right? I apologize. Um, so let's start adding materials then. Okay, let's just select all the shells. Also, I'm going to turn off the particles for now, just because we'll get back to that. Camera. H. 
by name. M on your keyboard. Oh boy. Don't be a victim. That's why saving is very important. And um, I don't know what all, always causes these crashes. This one I can guess that it was because I had the nine shells um, selected, and then each one of them has 300 keyframes. Maybe all that information was a lot to bring up with the material editor or something. I'm just filibustering now until hopefully it doesn't crash. But if it does, I guess, um, I forgot I can always pause the video. I'll do that. 